Coming up, I'm gonna show you some really cool examples of paywalls that are converting at a really high rate. Stay tuned. What is up, App Nation? It is your boy, Steve P. Young, founder of AppMasters.com. And today, I wanna talk about cool looking paywalls that actually convert more users. Now, I just did a live Twitter Q&A with at follow the hashtag ask at follow. And the question was, what are the best examples of paywalls? Do you monitor some apps who are doing a lot of A-B tests with paywalls to find new trends in the design of them? If so, which apps? Well, great question. So let's get into it. Here is the Blinkist app. Now, I love this model and Blinkist actually wrote a blog post about this particular pricing page. As you can see here, they are doing this presentation where they say, today you get free access to everything. And then day five, we'll send you an email or notification that your trial is ending. And day seven, you'll be charged. So they're really trying to make the end user feel comfortable about starting the trial. Because they found, and we found on our end too, is that when people sign up for a trial, activated trial, if they're going to cancel, they usually do it on day one. So you want to overcome that objection. Hey, don't worry, because they don't want to get charged, right? They don't want to forget to cancel. So by telling their users up front, Blinkist is saying, look, we're going to tell you when we're going to charge you so you can feel comfortable activating this trial. And Here's what they saw. How solving our biggest customer complaint at Blinkist led to a 23% increase in conversion. So they saw a 23% increase in conversion. That's not it though. Check this out. Obviously, the trial sign up increased by 23%, but they reduced customer complaints by 55%. That's crazy. That's not it. There's more. They increased push notifications often from 6% to 74%. And then they reduce cancellations during the trial by 4%. Now, if you're wondering what's a good trial to subscription rate, you want to be at least 30%. Some clients are doing 50, some clients are doing 40, but you want to be at least 30% of the trials that activate, they end up paying you. So 30%, you're losing about 70%, but 30% is a good mark to aim for at least. Now, we've also been talking about longer pricing pages converting better. I made this claim back in 2019 and it still holds true today. So here's some examples. We got one geometry solver, 65% increase in conversions with this longer pricing page. We got super mama, 12 X more revenue. They did some other things too, but 12 X more revenue with this beautiful long pricing page. This is a long scroll. Okay. I just split it up into five different screens, but it's a long scroll. Next Penman. Okay, he 4X his sales. We did a live stream about this from 250 to $1,000 a month, right, in sales. And he did a lot of different tests, but one of the things he attributes it to is this longer pricing page. So longer pricing pages are performing better. So now you're probably wondering, what's a really good example? Well, I say do both, right? Let's take Blinkist. They figured out that, hey, if I tell users, don't worry, I'm going to notify you when your trial is up. So don't worry about canceling now. You're good. Try, just try out our app, right? With a longer pricing page, will that increase conversions? And I have some examples. I can't share them with you but because the client didn't give me approval. But we have talked to a couple of different clients that have implemented both. This trial notification messaging on Blinkist with this longer pricing page, and they've seen really good results with that. So if you wanna feel good, do both. But Blinkist is one that I'm starting to really look at. If there are other apps that you wanna think about, I would say Reflectly, Fastic would be good examples too. And frankly, any VPN apps, because you know they're crushing it in the app stores. But those are a bit different categories. What I would say is if you're looking for good examples of paywalls, look at the competitors in your space. See what they're doing right. See what they're doing wrong. See what you can borrow. Look into Sensor Tower and see the revenue numbers that they're doing and the download numbers and start to think what you can borrow from other apps. Just like I did with the longer pricing page. I borrowed it from actually the web. I know that longer pricing pages on the web perform better. So I had this hunch that they would perform just as well on mobile. And it turns out they do. 
All right, if you got a question for me, I wanna try a new segment where you ask me a ton of questions. I'm gonna answer it in video form and on Twitter form if you want to, but leave a comment below on this particular YouTube video and I'll answer it in a future video. All right, guys, that's it. Stay tuned, hit that subscribe button if you want more marketing, growth hacking strategies related to the app space and go check out our brand new website that's coming up soon. It is at masters.com, at masters.com. And I'll see you on the next video.